when evaluating RF Cyber Takeover counter UAS systems. Why is it important to bring your own drones and ensure no prior or current exposure to the remote control? Well, a typical cyber UAS engagement involves a triangle. Here in the sky is the drone. Down here on the ground is the pilot with his remote control. And of course, we have the RF Cyber Takeover Counter UAS system that's designed to detect and mitigate the drone threat. In this scenario, which rarely happens in the field, the Counter UAS system can access both the remote control uplink and the drone downlink communications. But here's where it gets tricky. In real-world scenarios, the pilot and remote control are often obscured behind buildings or natural obstacles. Can the system you're testing still perform even without access to the uplink between the remote control and the drone? Clearly, your validation test has to work without that contact. The problem? Sometimes, in evaluations, the counter UAS system has already made contact with the remote control. The system can then utilize previously read remote control communication parameters and operate as if performing real-world downlink-only RF cyber takeover, creating the wrong impression in real-world evaluation scenarios. So to avoid this problem, it's important to keep a couple of things in mind when validating real-life cyber takeover in evaluations. First, BYOD, bring your own drone to the evaluation. This way, it's definitely a brand new engagement that will provide valid real-world results. Second, don't activate the drone or the remote control in advance anywhere near the system being tested. And be sure to keep the pilot and remote control far away and fully obstructed from the counter UAS system during the entire evaluation. That way, unique communication parameters can't be preloaded in the counter UAS system. The test drone is an unknown entity and your evaluation will be truly valid for real-world scenarios. So remember, bring your own drones and no prior exposure for valid CUAS system evaluations. For more information about evaluating effective RF cyber takeover in real-life scenarios, contact Defend Solutions or your local representative.